I, I'm, it's a very popular poem, but I thought, I wonder what Frost would read at the inauguration if he were alive today. I thought this one was perfect, and it's a pretty popular poem. It's called Fire and Ice, and it's a really short poem. Um, I don't know if you want me to read it. I thought it was. Do it, do it, do it. I, I thought it. I thought it's where we're at today, you know. And it's a it's a very ambiguous poem in the sense of what makes us survive, what destroys us, what it, what are the worst and best things, and and how. Uh, it, well, like Frost, I read it. Well, like poetry in general, it's like it's got layers and layers of meaning. So, Fire and Ice by Robert Frost. Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. From what I've tasted of desire. I hold with those who favor fire. But if it had to perish twice, I think I know enough of hate to say that for destruction, ice is also great and would suffice. That's so great. You launch us off into this journey over the next uh, four years. We're watching you folks in Washington. We are valuing our democracy by our embrace of our fellow citizens and our uh, impulse to make change around us. That's, yeah. that's all we can do, right? Yeah. And do it together. Richard Blanco, thank you so much.